All righty. Welcome, welcome. Birthday stream. Get the boys in here. Got to do some dailies first. <laughs> What's up, Pandemonius? Yeah, a little, little mini whale. little mini whale today. A little, little baby minnow. little baby minnow. We uh, definitely want to finish up the uh, some of the One Punch Man banners. What's up, DJ King? Hey, Prejudice. Agent Smith. Oh. hearing right now hold on or am i hearing my own mic oh that's just cantana makes that oh it's the waterfalls in the background like, jeez i thought it was just like mic noise it's the waterfalls in the background what's up guys thank you guys for the birthday wishes yeah let me get you in here agent Get some da get our dailies done real quick. We'll give this about five seconds. If nobody joins, then we're moving on. Oh, look at that. All right. Welcome, welcome, guys. Birthday stream, birthday stream. We're going to do a couple things real quick. We're going to get some dailies done. Um, if anybody needs any raids uh, from the group, we'll... Uh, Deal with some of that and then we'll definitely do uh i think we're gonna do some battlefield too i think we still have battlefield open uh for another hour so we're gonna do a little bit of the new battlefield and we'll uh towards the middle of the stream we'll do we'll do our birthday summons after battlefield is over and after peak is over here's the battlefield cool i know rex still needs seal um but i think i'm completely done with my seals because we did them earlier in the week Like, I used up all my refreshes. What's up, Owl? Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, yes, 12 servant. Thank you. Enemil, thank you. Lorian, thank you. I appreciate it. Bro, yeah, new battlefield is so much better. Like, it doesn't waste my time. That's that's where I'm. No, you didn't. You gosh, blessed Rex. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. 20 bucks from Rex. Definitely going towards our uh, little mini whale session today. <laughs> Let me make sure I got everything out of the chat. <laughs> it's way on time. Thanks, man. Lehamar, thank you so much. There it is. Thanks again to Rex. 20 bucks through the super chat. We super appreciate it. Rex is one of our best buds in the guild, so we do dailies pretty much every day. So the goal today with our little little mini whale session is I want to finish up, obviously, the Genos banner. Uh, that's first and foremost. Devok, thank you. Thank you. I want to finish up the uh, uh, the Genos banner, and then I have a decent amount of One Punch Man scrolls that I want to put towards uh, the Garu banner. And who knows? I might get something else uh, along the way. So, yeah, Genos Supremacy, man. I just went up. I tried to auto a, uh, a Genos team that was about almost 100k CP less than me. And, like, I was like, oh, crap, I need to manual this. Like, <laughs> he just wouldn't die. Granted, he had a loose of shields behind him, but... We are on our way to replacing our shield here. Uh, before I go any higher with this, we're on our way to replacing it with the last greed shield. I think it's just, we're gonna need this. This is gonna be more important. 
And then weapons, we've got a replacement weapon coming here. Seal weapon is gonna re uh, replace the old one. And then eventually I'll have to get, I do have a wind seal weapon, but it's just so hard to replace this guy right now with the crit damage. Honestly, I could probably just do the refine on this and get a couple other better stats and just hold the uh, hold the crit damage. Uh, power ranking, I think I'm up to like 628, 627 with my best team. I'm gonna put on my best team real quick. I think it's actually I think Ariel is stronger. And then light weapon, yeah, 628. 28 is our our max team but then again that's also knights that doesn't necessarily mean much like a full team of knights does well but they're very stat like efficient i guess like the way that they calculate their stats <laughs> happy birthday big smurf yeah <laughs> i'm old guys i'm old Yeah, man, that uh, the blessing event's gonna be huge for a lot of people. Uh, I'm really excited about that. Honestly, I'm gonna put Daru in there. I'm gonna put Genos in there. Uh, I gotta put my new Fang Yang in there. Gotta get one of these little tower things. Got so many things I want to put in the blessing. Uh, let's get this other one out of the way real quick. Oh, wait. Ugh. This stupid system, man. Like, why Why was this... Why is this broken? Why do I have to go and re-invite people? So dumb. I'll give you a five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. In we go. Yeah, we'll definitely get Rex in on the battlefield, for sure. I don't, did you see much of a difference with the uh, agent with the water? Like, it was the water power. Like, you, you get more stats for your water monsters, I guess. And probably your water weapon. I didn't really notice a huge difference. I felt like I was at a detriment for bringing water monsters because they weren't exactly the types of monsters I wanted. Like, I need a Juno. Like, you have to have a Juno in there. <laughs> I don't know why I have Bird and Argon up right now. Evidently, so auto something was kind of fixed with auto in here, but then at the same time, okay, so evidently there's an auto kind of fix in here, but it doesn't attack the doors. That's what I've been told. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a lot of good AOE damage dealers. lucky if I get one of these done a day. <laughs> That's as much as I can handle. Oh, you're out of battlefield charges, Rex? Dang. I think I've got five. I'm sure Agent has a couple. The gold, the gold from battlefield is definitely worth it. For sure. It's a good amount of gold. Oh, for the exploration quest? What does that get you, Panamonies? Or are you just doing it on your other summoners, I guess? Yeah. 
Pen it's oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, my bad, did I? No, 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 no. Gotcha. Yeah, doing my LD account, I noticed those transcendence pieces are hard to come by. Like, I'm doing my LD account, it's just like, I've been at level 60, I just finally went up, but like, I've been at level 66 or whatever forever. And I don't remember it being like that on this main account. But I also kind of just like spam farmed the Path of Growth uh, dungeons solely for those pieces. Yeah, super unlucky. And then there's also the uh, this quest that's a scam. This uh, repeat quest is total scam right here. It doesn't drop anything. Uh, okay, bring in the old agent back. Now let's go do a raid. Just to get our dailies done. Great party. Battle support. Let's see if anybody wants to join. It's a trap! Indeed it is. Dude, I remember when we, uh, Agent and I and, uh, uh, you know, Starfallen back in the day, we were first doing this, uh, <laughs> first doing this raid, the Metis raid, and we're, like, figuring it out. I made my first video about it. Trying to, trying to get a perfect run for the video. <laughs> times and now this is our uh, this is our go-to when we're doing dailies in the morning we just go straight for white castle get it done dailies daily quest done You know, I've been pondering it, Kimu. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, if I was going to spend any money right now, which, you know, I've spent a, I spent a little bit of money on uh, the One Punch Man tickets. Because um, as of right now, we're not going to be getting replacement versions of those for a while. Um, we're not going to be getting, like, the, the Comptuous versions for a while. Um, like, probably not even until next year in my opinion, the way they made it sound. So, the foxes, you can get in the exchange shop. I've already got several pieces of different foxes. You can get the foxes in the exchange shop, you can get them randomly from Mystical Scrolls. I do summon a decent amount. So it's like, I'm not worried. I don't think they're meta or game-changing in any way. Um, I think they'll be good, but I went over it mostly in my video. Um, okay, uh, what else do we need? Battlefield, right? Let's make sure I got the people I want. Honestly, I had a lot of success with Juno, Wusa, Tessa. It's kind of a... As far as what I have, this seemed to work out pretty well. Hey, TJ. Thanks, man. Do my... I think I already... Yeah, I already kind of did some. Ugh, 300. It's so expensive. Um, Ninetales Cami. Wait, is Cami the light one? Just double checking. It's been a minute. Um, yeah, so we were looking at this. It's I didn't really talk about it too much in the video because, you know, very few people have it. So I'd rather just talk on stream with you or something. Um, I saw this and it looked like kind of a bruisery unit here. Phantom Light. Oh, dang it. We'll have to look at it here in a second. Nocturnalist deals damage. I didn't hear anybody going crazy for it, but it, do it doesn't look bad at all. It looks good. 
Remove harmful effects, so cleanses, steals, heals, skill cooldown, all very good things. Yeah, no wind fox. I'm still on the fence about the wind fox surgical. I don't know. It's a hit or miss for me. Like, if it works, then it's going to work really well. But then if it doesn't work, it's going to fall by the wayside like every other mage class. All right, battlefield time. I guess the next iteration of Battlefield is going to be like, instead of flags, it's going to be like a monster, I think, or like a boss that you have to attack at the other end. Kind of more like a traditional MOBA, I guess. I would like to see like, there's so easily could add traditional MOBA elements to this. Like, you know, up here, you've got a little tiny mini boss monster that you fight over on a certain time and you get a little buff to your team or something. I don't know. Oh, where's my... I need my thing. Okay, where are we going? Let's get this map. Oh, let's go up to the knights. Oh, no. Come on. There we go. Come on. Run away. Fine, I'll just take the flag. Come on. I'm frozen. Oh, this cleef. Does not want to go away. There we go. Got him. We already, we already took it, right? Or no, we didn't take it. Okay, we got our boy back there. Okay, doing good. We just took that. Taking this. We're doing good. Oh, they're all hopping down there. Let's go. Back. We're about to win here. It's actually way easier to get kills in here, too. Hold on, I got my new little soundboard ready. There we go. I was trying to get it to where I could make confetti come on the screen, but it was a little too much work yeah battlefield shop we've got refined catalyst in here once per month which is pretty big these durability stones aren't bad too like these you use a lot of these once you get all your stuff to like plus 12 and it's all 2a 3a then you don't use as much but as soon as you want to go and build another weapon <laughs> Those durability stones just fly away. Mm, we were looking at Cami. Hold on. Once you have, if cast out, use Phantom Light. Okay, Nocturnal Excursion. Oh my gosh, per hit. Attribute, adva attribute advantage attack is always good. 
old uh old DMRs. I kind of wish DMRs still had his attribute advantage. I feel like that would uh that would put DMRs in a better spot than he is right now. Like he's okay as a damage dealer. Because uh, back in the old Sky Arena game, Theomars, the Water Ifrit, he had essentially element advantage against anything. <laughs> oh, we got a warrior now. Go, you gonna fight? No? I can go up here. There's a knight up here. Oh, agent went in. No, agent! I didn't know! Nice. Got him. Got this flag? Okay. Let's go back to the middle. Hey, St. Nick's. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Take this flag. Take one for the team. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. you want oh agent's up there all by himself <laughs> my bad i ran away run away Leaf life. Get wrecked, all of you. <laughs> it is, St. Nick. It absolutely is. Just farming chumps out here. Let's go. Boom! It's like, it's not even the mechanics of it. It's just like, there's not really mosh pit anymore, which you literally just couldn't do anything up against the mosh pit. Like there was, there was nothing you could do. They just control the center with the mosh pit and then you, and then they change it to where it's like, all you do is like just mine. And then it just became Minecraft like speed runs, which I didn't really understood all the changes. Cause I literally was not doing battlefield. I did not do a single battlefield. Well, okay, I did one battlefield a month, or whatever it is. One battlefield a season, just to get my 30,000 guys down. I hopped in, immediately regretted it, and then hopped out. But now, this is significantly better. It's not wasting my time. And you, we were able to knock out, like, seven or eight of these in, like, I don't know, 45 minutes the other day. It was really nice. Some users declined to party. One of these days, we'll, we'll read through Cami's skills. Right, attribute advantage on attacks, cool. Um, Phantom Light and removable, cool. Attack steals. Um, successfully. Once it's successfully stolen, then you get a Phantom Light back. 
level two reincarnate. What does that do? In addition, decreased skill cooldown of Phantom Light Spirit. That's that one. Recovers HP equal to max HP. Recovers its HP. In addition, decreased skill cooldown of Phantom Light. Interesting. So it's just like a very brawly sort of mage monster, it seems like. Ooh, we got some big boys in here. We got TJ. We got Apes. Apes is another content creator. Um, he's a streamer over on Twitch. Apps, Apes. I don't know how it's... I think Agent says Apps. I say Apes. I don't know. Oh no, I wanted the Busa thing. Got one. Let's get a. Can I get a. Oh boy, can I get a. Can I, no! Uh, that's the problem going in with uh, Busa first, because then it's like you're out of mana to do all your other stuff. So this will be one of the harder fought ones. Oh, I'm slept. Big slept. We're all slept. Holy moly. Oh, they're bringing the dumb Celia. Ugh. What an annoying monster. If you can get it off, sleep is like so good. Get back on the horse or the rabbit. He's running. You don't want none of this. Try to see if I can snipe one of his monsters. Because that's kind of detrimental, too. Let's gang up on this guy. Sorry, bud. Ah, uh, I stole the kills. That feels bad, because I hate it when that happens to me. Oh, you got that Genos in there. You hear him. Oh my gosh! Juno is an absolute must, I feel like, in here. Between the the healing and the strip, or the cleanse heal there, being able to target your summoner is just too, too powerful. Yeah, we got rolled this time. Him. Oh man, it's really close. Holy moly, that was so close. What was the final score on that? I don't know if you can see. We were absolutely neck and neck there. Holy moly. I am officially 32. I'm officially 32. I'm an old man. Hmm. Thanks, Jamie. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of finish up Battlefield here. Oh, we'll see if anybody needs some raids, and then we'll we'll hop into, uh, hop into the summon session. I'm not too worried about PvP right now. Summon session is very important. Damage dealt, okay, per caster's reincarnate level when using Nocturnal Excursion attack. Bro. 
row. Ellie, wow. Yeah. Talk about one of the best LDs in the game. That's true. That's true. I don't know. Dragon Knights are right up there for me too, Michael. Like, I kind of want to almost save all of... I want to save almost through... Uh, through the Ninetales, through the Archers for Dragon Knights. Because, like, I'm super interested on how Dragon Knights passives are going to be implemented into this game. And maybe we'll get our own little passive meta. Plus, I'm hoping their, their awakened design is a little bit better. Maybe we uh maybe we do another mini whaling session when that happens. We'll see. All right, we got some combatants up here. Okay. Agent got that one. You know what's funny? I just like was thinking, man, I haven't recharged my uh, mouse battery in a while. And like literally like I manifested it or something. I'm literally, I have no mouse right here. So just, uh, hold on. I don't know how to switch. Oh, Juno just doing her thing. Five. Come on, Juno, just strip, strip, strip. Help the boys, strip, strip, strip. Hey, that's all we needed to do. The boys came in clutch. I literally manifested that my mouse was gonna run out of battery. There we go. This man has lost connection. Or something. Strip, strip, strip. Brrr. Come on. Come on. Triggered from old battlefield running away. It's like they're all up there. I'm going to go take this flag. Oh, wait. We already have this flag. That's our flag. You're going you're gonna to get another probably 300 or so at least, or more, for the next batch of uh, monsters. We just stripping away right now. We just stripping away. We get stuns out of it. We get all kinds of stuff out of it. And we just got another ult because of the amount of strips that we just did. We get mana back when we strip, so it's like it's a win-win. And we just stay alive forever. Bros. Bros. Ah, yes, the twins. That is that is also right up there. Like, before Magical Archers, whatever. Like, before Nine Tails Fox, twins. And uh, so they only showed um, the Fire Twins, obviously. But that means we get the whole lineup, right? The Fire Twins, the Water Twins. That would be, that would be dope. What's up, Gikin? How you doing, man? It's good to see you back. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah.
So if you think you were going to be able to put our best runes on Guild War defense and then save it to make another defense with the same best rune sets, I doubt it. I hope before that gets implemented, they implement like where you can have different rune sets for different things. Like PvP, I have a rune set versus Guild Wars, I have a rune set. I don't know, maybe. Um, but no, it's definitely going to be like you have... So let's say you've got lots of different castles and you could input, you know, four defenses if you wanted to, or five defenses into whatever castle. Um, each defense you put in. <sighs> yeah, it's a good question. I don't think they would let us do that, right? They, they've got to find a way to not let us do that. Because that seems like that's kind of... I don't want to say we're broken or whatever, but just like it doesn't seem right to be able to take it off of a placed or registered defense. Ah, oh, poor combatant. Already got this one. Okay. That. Switch back to Juno. I see a lot of buffs that we can strip. Brrr. Oh man, our uh, Usa died. That's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, let's go up. Come here, bud. Where are all my friends? Clans, clans, clans. Thank you. Ooh, there's a lot going on here. No, 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 ult! Oh, I was, like, stunned or something. I couldn't get my ult off. Ah, uh, yeah, Blur Mart, I definitely do struggle with destroy comps. Um, for sure. Uh, I've definitely had several matches where it's like be we go all the way to the end of the time and I lose because a decent amount of my, or a decent amount of my HP was destroyed. So it's definitely, it's definitely one of the more powerful PvP sets out there. I think Despair is still very powerful. Destroy is very powerful. Of course, the Rage Blades. How many more you got, um, Agent? I don't know. Can I, re can I refresh these? Yeah, I could. How many more do you got? Two left. How many do I get? Uh, weekly recharges. Uh, recharge one. Is that what the? Oh, it gives me one at a time. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, it's for three different guilds fighting all at the same time. No, it'll be it'll be arena style challenge arena style. For sure. Hey, Gavin. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Check out there. Almost done reading Cammy's skills. Re level two reincarnate. Damage dealt up per caster's reincarnate level. Does reincarnate stack or does that go away at any time? Apply reincarnate to itself, then removes harmful effects, decreases skill cooldown. Per caster's reincarnate level when using damage dealt up. There's nothing that says that it removes the reincarnate level. So I guess it's kind of kind of like a Garu thing where he just like stacks it up. Well, but this isn't this isn't removable though. Reincarnate level. So in theory, the longer she lasts in the battle, the more powerful she gets because damage is dealt up per caster's reincarnate level. That's really interesting. You know it, Blur. You know exactly what I'm doing. Gonna be an instant ragdoll, easiest ragdoll of our lives. I uh, no, I have not summoned yet, Gavin. 
we're, uh, we're getting a couple dailies out of the way, getting some uh, Battlefield stuff done for the boys in the guild. Now that Battlefield's actually fun. Oh! Yeah, I agree. It's quite fun. And it's short. That's what I keep saying. It's quick. Quick and easy. Hey, old Thomas. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I do, too. Hey, man, I'm we've got mostly we're summoning on the uh, summoning on one punch man banners. That's mostly what we're doing. Uh, Cleave teams. I do have a video out um, humongous uh, on my Cleave teams and a couple other options. Um so you kind of just have a couple picks of monsters. You've got Chloe, you've got Colleen, uh, Karambit is decent. Um, Chi Wu's not bad. Um, Juno is pretty good. So typically it's some sort of combination of those. Um, I run Bastet, um, Sekment, and Tessarion in my Tear Glands team, personally. Uh, well, I am 150 summons deep into the Genos banner, so I'm going to finish the Genos banner for sure. Uh, and then we're going to go for the uh, Garu banner after that. And depending on how quick we get him, um, I have about another 50 bucks to spend kind of in my budget. And depending on if we get Garo early enough, I might go just for like a refining catalyst pack or something. We'll see. All your videos tip is misleading. Overpower and doesn't even apply when they're overported. Okay. Yeah, not sure what not sure what that's what that means. Yeah, I mean, most of the people that are doing the, the YouTube videos have cleared these relatively easy. So, you know, we're just giving you options. We're not necessarily telling you that this will work, um, but these are lots of different options that work for other people. And so there's there's never one monster. There's never one team that's going to solve all your problems. Got to just got to figure out what is uh, best for your account. Cleaned up. And <laughs> no, you know, we cannot Rex. No, we cannot. <laughs> my my budget, this this whale session was about 100 bucks and that that was my my birthday budget. So I am perfectly happy. That's more money than I've spent on a game in years. So. Well, that was fast. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, we got one more battlefield to do. It's true that Eliona, it's just one more, one more pack, right? One more pack and you get Eliona for sure. Yeah, you guys have, uh, you guys have tarnished my reputation. Now a little mini whale. It's true. Anything is possible. You know, if you spend enough money, you, you can get whatever you want for the most part. Yeah, no, Annabelle works fine uh, on any of those. Just remember, as long as they're completely skilled out, A9 is fine. I'm doing Tree of Heroes right now, the brand new raid, the one that's like really tough. Um, I'm doing that with a Awaken 9 Vertical, so he's fully skilled in some decent runes, but yeah, he's only A9. The, the Awaken states are important, obviously. Skills are important first, that you do your skills first, uh, and Awaken comes, comes last. It doesn't add a massive amount of stats it, it adds a lot for sure but it's not a huge amount yeah i can uh i can show the annabelle here in a second 
mine is just full energy. Full energy with a little bit of accuracy. So, HP, HP, HP. There's some people that build her a little bit more damage. Um, very few, actually. Um, but you can kind of get away with any sort of set. You could do an Endure set for resistance, right? You could do energy sets. You can even do uh, throw in a guard set if you want to uh, on your Annabelle. So, like you can see here, I've got two energy and a guard. Um, she's at 92,000. Uh, defense, 3,000. Not that great. Resistance at 72. Not bad. Oh, heal, heal. There we go. Let's do another heal to keep it going here. Oh, wow. And then I just got rolled. Dang it. I was about to switch off to a Tessarian ult. We we're going to just wipe the floor clean with them. What if we just ran into each other at all? We might have. You can kind of see a little bit with uh, the map and whatnot. There's a lot going on in there. Come on. Oh, there goes my Juno. I'm dead. Man, that was just a mosh pit of ugliness in there. Ah, yeah, we're just, we're pretty much done at that point. We just run here and die. Here, take me. Take me to Valhalla. At all. I would like to go to the Eternal Plains. I guess we're not going to the Eternal Plains. I swear I'm trying to die, guys. There we go. Finally. Got the Tessa and the Espino. That's a dangerous combo. You know, it just be like that sometimes, Mark. It just be like that. We just too strong. All right, are we, are we together here? We got a warrior. I'm getting all the mana back from stripping everything, so we're definitely doing it. Damn, we just could not get through that. There was just like this meatball. We just could not break. Um, okay. I think we are about ready to transition in here. I am going to go use the restroom because it's going to be a, it's going to be a bit. And I'll be right back. Oh, wait. I got the stupid thing on my head. Hold on. There we go.
Okay. important part of the get up today. That's better. All right, cool. All right, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's summon time. So here's the plan. All right, let me, uh, let me do the rundown of the plan. A little birthday whale session, okay? Um, let's go to our pack here. Go to scrolls. I currently have 160 scrolls ready to go. Uh, or for the, uh, the One Punch Man scrolls. The reason I kind of went in on the One Punch Man ones is that both Genos and Garu have really kind of popped off. Um, and they're not, a lot of people don't even have them 815 yet or anything. So... I definitely wanted Genos just for, because I like Genos. I like Genos, so I wanted to get him. And then, of course, with a little bit extra, I'm definitely go for, um, definitely go for Garu as well. So, if we get Garu early, right? I think I only need 50 scrolls right now to finish the Genos banner. If we get Garu early, then I might use my 50 bucks somewhere else. But if I don't get Garu, which is very likely, then we might just have to drop that last 50 bucks on another uh, on another one punch man uh, pack so we'll see we'll see all right all right so let's start recording here we've got some good stuff coming up here uh genos banner as you can see 154 out of 200 i think we still have like a half dozen scrolls left in the event but here we are um Nine Tails Foxes. The reason I'm skipping this banner is because A, we can get them other ways. We can get them through Mystical Scroll Summons just as the regular pool. Um, we can get uh, them through the Exchange Shop. Um, and it's not like a limited time sort of thing, right? So whereas these guys are definitely a limited time sort of thing. Now, they did sort of confirm that they are going to be making some versions of these monsters that are comp to his versions, but I don't see that happening until well into next year. So I'm not going to hold out for that. And I kind of want Genos and Garu now. Hmm. Uh, I think they both kind of fit my play style. It helps me to like transition my knight play style into like a little bit more knight warrior support play style. So kind of looking for that. Um, I'm going to save for the blessing event. Um, we do have a blessing event coming around. So, after this, I'm going to save for the blessing event and probably dump a decent amount of mystical scrolls on that. We'll see. We will see. I got to make that decision later. They will be mad for sure. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and we're going to start out by finishing up the Genos banner. All right. So let's uh, we've got. 46. What's up? Hey, what's up, uh, Oreo? How you doing, man? All right, let's see if we can get them early. Like, if we get them early, maybe we finish up the banner to get two of them. But the way that our luck's been with uh, banners, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Let's, uh, let's get the game sound up a little bit. All right. Yeah, we're at the point now that if we do get him in the next like 30 pulls, then we're definitely just going to go for the banner. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, sorry, Sean. I have no idea what the message was. Uh, Nightbot going at it again. I need to go in to like make Nightbot a little less uh, mean. <laughs> I don't know why he's so mean. <laughs> I just set him up recently too, so I have no idea what he's what he's going out for. Oh, stop spamming emotes! Why can't you spam emotes? Oh, I, I gotta fix Nightbot. 
Nightbot can't be like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, spam protection? Blacklist words and phrases, excessive caps. Eh, I don't care about that. Excessive enotes, don't care about that. Links, yeah, I'll probably keep that. Excessive symbols, and eh, disable that. Um, let's see. Let's just disable that too. All right, you should be able to spam caps now if you want to, and, and all the other stuff. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that fixes it. Okay, six. I saw the, I saw the, I saw the message. <laughs> Nightbody is ruling with an iron fist for sure. He might, he might take over my job. <laughs> He's become, uh, become too powerful. They really gotta make us go to pity on this. It's crazy, man. I did get Atomic Samurai early. I got him in like 30 pulls. But as we all know, he doesn't, uh, he's not that great. He's extremely hard to build for very little value. All right, we got two more. Imagine we get him right here. Yeah, there's pity on this banner, so we're about to hit it now. So this is our last one. So we technically could get him here, right? Nope, of course not. Why would they do that? We collect our free fire elite scroll. And then we come up here to this guy and we go summon. And now we get to choose between Atomic Samurai and we pray to God that we don't accidentally fat finger and click Atomic Samurai. So I know it shows that first, but then it's going to show <laughs> a couple people have been debated so hard by this. <laughs> Yeah, that would be pretty tough, Sean. <laughs> All right, Genos. <laughs> like, just a half a beat. Like, a half a beat, right? Like, even though I knew it was coming, it was still half a beat of a skip. <laughs> All right, Genos. Genos it is. Confirm. Literally self-guessing myself. That is Genos, right? <laughs> like, that is Genos. No, Genos didn't come home. I dragged his ass home is what happened. So, none of this, like, Genos came home, like, oh, he's so sweet. No, no, no. Dragged his ass. All right. We've got Garu Banner. We've got 114 scrolls. You know, I would love to just get him early and just be done with it. Because I'm not, I'm not necessarily looking to... Well, that's the thing, though. If we do get him early, do we just go on these the girls' banner, too? Like, if we get him in, like, 20 scrolls... I might as well just go on the other banners, because just to get them. Yeah, there are only three scrolls left in the event, for sure. Which still boggles me that you couldn't get a single monster in this entire event. Yeah, I know some people are, are down for Silver Fang. I just don't feel like he fits my playstyle. All right, Garu banner. The waifu banners have no hold on my soul. They are either good in PvP or they are not. There is no simping here. Come on. Watch this banner make us go to pity too. It's literally like, I think most of my banners have been to pity. So I just don't go on banners. I just, I just summon monsters regular.
There's also a possibility of getting a different monster, or uh, getting one of the... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on. It's not five Garus in one pull. Oh, it's Tornado. Okay, okay. Okay, we still have a ton of scrolls left. It is a new Mon. It is a new Mon. She has a very niche place, for sure. It is still a win. It is still a win. It's always mildly disappointing, but it is still a win. Yeah, you can totally get them on a different banner for sure. I don't know. Is this waifu status? This chick looks like she's like 14 at max. It's not really a waifu in my book. Y'all are a little sus in chat. Oh, back to back to back. It's funny, I got Galleon on the Genos banner, too. I got debated by Galleon twice on both of these banners now. We're not too deep, Chris. We're not too deep into the summons. We're, I mean, we're a little deep. We did get our Genos, so we finished up the Genos banner. It is better than a Fire Undine. That, that is true. I do need to build my Galleon, and this gives me a lot more pieces. I think this is like A13 for him, so... You know, it it's just what it is, man. The disappointment is there. I can't help it. Of course he's good. I know he's good. But he's not what I want in this moment. His time will come. He gets he gets tons of love. I know, I know, you could buy him for the shop in the longest time. Funny enough, I wasn't buying him back then because he wasn't that good back then. I mean, I was buying him, but I was using his pieces in the exchange shop for other things, like an Argon and a Juno. Galleon Origin skin better than Awakened skin? Hmm. I think they all look derpy with the Awakened skin, it's true. Hey, I got a random Shushu. More book stats, we love that. His name isn't even... It's true. His name is not Luffy. Where are we at? 34 left. Ah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, was that a second purple back there? Like, I couldn't tell. There was the purple way out in front, but it kind of looked purple back in the back, too. No? Ah, oh, dang. It was like a really thick purple, so it was like, I couldn't tell. Promise to be always with me. What is... Oh, stop! Why are they even on here? I, I know I don't have her, but still... <sighs> Come on. Like, honestly, the rates have been pretty good. It's just... Um, let's go back up. Um, well, it's better than a fire. Yes, Kipnik said it uh, earlier, so Kipnik is banned. That, that's how it works. Yeah, he brought this upon us. Almost a fire ending. <laughs> At least it's a new monster contract, for sure. Ah... <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's really, like, the the rates are there. Like, we've got the rates with this. We just don't have the monsters we want. <sighs> oh, 
All right, boys. Let's do four real quick, and then we'll make our decision about continuing the whale. Come on. I already kind of knew that I was going to continue to whale. I already put 50 bucks in my Steam wallet, so... I kind of already set myself up for that. There it is. All right. We need freaking 86 scrolls. No, they knew it. So we need 86 scrolls. So, boys. What is it? Which one is the way? This is a hundred. Oh yeah, I, this is probably the best value, right? By, by by far, this has to be the best value to finish this up, right? Because you get a hundred, and you get the two, and then of course you get the six after the six little training coupons. Devil on. Yeah, this is easily the best one, right? Okay. Because I did the other ones earlier as a part of the whale the the whale session, so by far. Okay, let me real quick. We sit back. No doxing myself this time. All right. There they are. You boys, that's what it feels like. What it feels like. Feels good. As long as I just don't check my bank account anytime soon. All right. You either die free to play or long enough, long enough to see yourself become a whale. I love that. I need I need a shirt for that. Oh yeah, for sure. Thankfully, I did get my Genos. So we we finished up the Genos banner. So we have him and we have Atomic Samurai. I hope Atomic Samurai gets buffed because I really think his kid is cool, and I'd like to see more of him. Yeah, we're gonna finish up. We're finishing up this banner. We have a hundred scrolls now, so we're for sure finishing off this banner. And then after that, we will go for probably the wind banner. Well, it depends on what we get. Let's not let's not make any decisions right now. All right, boys, let's continue. He's like he kind of seemed good, but like just in practice, it doesn't seem like he's doing all that much. So we got we just got four that yeah, fours in that one. Wifey coming in clutch with the birthday wings. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, what happens at the end of the banner? You get to choose. So you get a essentially like it's an old school blessing. Nothing. Man, come on. Oh, he for sure. Yeah, Genos, it's not just looks. Like, I've definitely dealt with Genos now. Like, they are, they're pretty good, for sure. He's useful in PvE, too. I see him a fair bit in Brawl. He's definitely tough. like now we don't have to choose
Old man. Yes, old man. Dead. Choice became super easy. Now watch us get a Garo right here and about 40 trolls. Old Amanda. Yeah, old Amanda. We love Storyteller. All right, this is it. Could get the Garu, and then we finish off the Garu. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Or we just randomly get Hellish Blizzard right here. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> Not horrible. Could be. Pretty good. Of course, Genos or, or not Genos, uh, Garu or Blizzard would have been better, but. All right, 16 more. It's true. That's the only way he was gonna work is 11A. I'm glad someone was counting, Jimmy. I wasn't. <laughs> Thanks, Crypto. I appreciate it, man. Come on. Get that last random Garu right here. Jacob Pego, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Man. Technically, it could be this one. Could be this one. We're going to pity, boys. Going to pity. We're gonna drag Garu, drag him back to us. Nice. We pretty much finished up, Crypto. This is our last little bit here. Thanks, Adrian. Oh boy. Probably one of the more broken monsters right now in PvP. Nice. All right, confirm it is. All right, uh, we've got a couple more. We've got 14 more. Do we just go on the wind banner just so we can try to get Blizzard? Because we've got everybody now, right? So I guess in theory, the wind banner would be the best chance to get Blizzard. And then we could have them all. I mean, it's 14 scrolls. It's not like we're going to get her, but you never know. All right. Mark said it. Fabuki in 10. Four chances, boys. And we are not wailing for Kabuki. We are not simping that hard. Come on. 
right here. Nah. Well, we have three more scrolls left. In the event. So there, there is a chance. There most certainly is a chance. Over a few dollars? Yeah. Screw them. I ain't simping for no hellish blizzard, whatever her is. They probably don't like each other anyway. I don't know. I haven't got, gotten that far in the uh, anime. All right, I'll give you guys three LD scrolls. And then we'll uh, we'll call it because we're going to save our mysticals for the, uh, the blessing event. Or how does that work? So does anybody know how the blessing event's going to work? Like what happens to these two? Like... So the blessing event starts, or no, the altar is going to get reset anyway. That's right. I I feel like I I got the W today. We got most everybody. Our whaling session was a was a success for the most part. No, yeah. So I get the I get that. That's what's going to happen. What happens to these guys? Are they about? To, are we about to reset the blessing here in ten days? Is that in ten days when that happens? I thought it was on the twenty sixth. One, two, three, four, five. So I will get. I'll get the so saving mystical scrolls now is the right thing, right? Because I want to do it during the event, to like guarantee that I get our boys here. Okay, yeah. All right, just making sure. Making sure I, I needed to save those and not, like, finish this or something. So, all right, yeah. Selective summon right here. So this is our selective light and dark summons. Um, I select uh, Neftis. I select... Eliona and I select what's your face for Lima That's pretty close to an Eliona, right? It's, it's not far off. Oh! Let's get a crow? Let's get a crow? I literally don't even have that many LD four stars. Like there's so many to choose from. Okay, I take that back. I do have a decent amount. Like I'm missing some crucial ones here, like no Harg and no Unugami. No Lauren and no Harg. Those are some crucial LD four stars. The rest of them are just like meh. Garu building. Let's check out the Garu building. Are we going to disrespect uh, Genos though? We got to build Genos first. I don't think we can disrespect him like that.
All right, there's our boy Jettos. Hmm. Good thing we have money this time. A decent amount of breath of life, too. Do we have pots for this? Lol. We may, we don't have pots for this. Oh my god, where the hell do we get pots? <laughs> and Genos. What's up, Yasin? How you doing? We just finished them up, so we pretty much have everybody except for Hellish Blizzard. I don't think Dark Carpet is good. Mm -mm -mm. How many? Um, we have twenty six of these, so that's twelve. 13, 16. Oh, let's, let's, let's hold up. We can't build Garu right now, though, because we have no pots. We can evolve them, but we have no pots, XP pots. Why do I not have XP pots? Where do I get XP pots? I get them from the path of training, right? That's like the main place. Actually, I could reset something. That's probably the best way to go about this right now. Six. So he takes four, eight, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, same amount. Oh, okay. Oh, look. The thing that whales get. Oh, we got to go into another route. Agent's going to kill me if I go into monster accuracy. But you know that would really, really help my Juno a lot. What is this? Summoner accuracy? Nah. Nah. See, he wants me to go down summoner skill cooldown. But the problem is you have to go through all this BS first. Like, the amount of time it's going to take me to get to summoner skill cooldown? What if I just did one here, not go down this route, get the immediate return on investment with the monster accuracy, and then everything else goes down that route. Because, like, this is going to take me a year of account leveling to get here. <laughs> no, I get that. I get that it's crucial. My question is, though, it's going to take me a year to get here. I could get absolutely no value from this, right? Or I could get tons of value from monster accuracy. Because, like, Juno's OP. No, I, I'm happy with my build, for sure. Like, I'm happy with the build. We, we, we did this a while back uh, on stream. So, like, I have no problem with my build. The yellow side... Well, we decided we went down monster damage taken, monster HP, and we left res and crit res. There's monster crit damage taken, there's monster res. Yeah, I know, yeah. Some, there's crazy whales out there that are almost maxed out. It's crazy. I'll never be that. So, this is not as valuable, I don't think. None of these are as valuable as the monster accuracy. That's, that's all I'm saying. It's like, we do the accuracy, not the whole line, just that one spot. Get us 6% accuracy. Our Juno then is like close to 80%. And then we just, you know, slowly work our way down this, uh, this one for a year. 
Just a thought. Over monster damage taken. Thirty five thousand five star pieces. Oh, my God. There's no way. I'm not surprised. There's some crazy whales out there, guys. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about monster power. It's really just PvP. We'll talk about it more. But we'll save that account skill for now. What do we just get? We got room capacity up. Nice. All right, boys. Uh, we're pretty much um, wrapped up with that. Do we have any? Um, are we this is closed right now. Yeah, it's closed anyway, so we can't really do that. Not really a ton. I guess I could do some Galagos, but I really hate doing Galagos. Turn this down. I wanted to build more. I guess we can put some runes on them. We can still we can still rune our guys. Um, let's see. Janos. There he is. Um, okay. So a PvP Genos is let's go back here. Ugh, so many monsters. I bet yeah, Hugh, I gotta go back and watch that. I saw that storyteller posted some videos. Last hit, knocked down. If target is knocked down or stunned, use incineration against CC immunity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damage dealt up. Sun. Defense down. Later, Sean. I appreciate you hanging out, man. Despair Blade. I know some people have talked about Despair Blade. I don't know if I have the rune sets for Despair Blade. My Despair runes are... I've been trying to farm it, but they're pretty garbage right now. Like, that's literally the, the only... And they're not even all good. Like, look at that. This is what I've been farming. I've been farming a lot, too. And this is all we're getting out of Despair. I definitely could probably have some blades, though. I really have issues with the uh, attack percent. I have very few actually good attack percent blades. I kind of kept this because this honestly could be a good, um, a good rune for a, like a three star brawler unit. Yeah, I typically lean towards rage blade just period on most things. Man, I just, I have farmed so much and it's just not getting good runes. Yeah, I think, I think I would love to have a Despair Genos. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Doesn't look like we're really building him today because we just do not have runes right now. Um... So HP, attack, res, attack speed. Attack speed. It's not really attack speed, though. Oh, I bet. Yeah, they probably never move. one's not bad thanks Nia I appreciate it yeah it is a birthday stream today did a little whale in for birthday
leveling and doing raid content as they do a power leveling video series. We'll have to talk more about that, Sanders. Thanks, Yasin. Do you keep actually in res on slot stakes? It's it's one of those things where, like, if it's a really good accuracy rune with amazing substats, I don't know, there might be a monster out there one day that could use it. But not really. There's, I, there's not a single monster I have on accuracy or res right now. I know, Killzone. Join the dark side. It's not a bad little rune right here. A lot of decent, like, HP ones. Like, a lot of decent ones of these. Like, I'm waiting for a good, like, HP damage dealer. Which, he's, uh, he's honestly fine having a decent amount of HP on him because you want him to survive, for sure. Oh, it's kind of tempting. Ugh. Tough. Um. That one's tough. There's no crit anywhere. That one's a possibility. That's a good one. Let's go with that for now. Let's go for crit damage. See if we have anything. I also lack in the crit damage department heavily. Honestly, it's a five star rune, but. We'll put it on for now. I know it's five star, but. Uh, we also need blades. So we can check out blades in this department. A lot of defenses. I just like I'm having a hard time finding runes that are have the combo, the attack percent and the crit stuff. Because he needs a little bit of accuracy, but not a ton. Um, it's defense though. It's so it's it's such a decent little rune, but it's defense. Let's go with this for now. Crit rate, defense, attack. Um, it's, it's doing a natural, I wouldn't, it's not died by any means. Um, they're making very good changes to the game and whatnot. I'm going to throw this on for now. It's not dying by any means. It's going to naturally get smaller. You know, any game after release and after launch, it's just going to be like, oh, some people thought it was something different or it's just not their type of game or whatever. Um, and that's just going to be the case with every game. And eventually they'll have to merge some servers, but that's, that's natural. Doesn't he stuns, right, Chris? So I would imagine he needs a little bit because he stuns. He applies defense down if he does knock back. Um, and those can all get resisted. Uh, let's see. Twenty five percent. Let's see. I don't know if it's like an important I'm I've obviously never built one before, so it's going to be a trial and error sort of thing. So we'll build him one way and we'll see if he doesn't really need accuracy, then we won't put accuracy on him. But I feel like he does. You use incineration cannon, so it goes back to this, right? So when you do this, if the target is knocked down, you use incineration cannon. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can feel your rage through the uh, through the chat there, Byer. Resistance does. It is a thing. It is a thing. Which has more synergy with Eliona? I don't know. I don't have an Eliona, and I just pulled these guys, so I'm probably not the best person to ask. Honestly, anybody has synergy with Eliona. She's so phenomenal. Um, from what I've seen, I have not used any of these monsters. Obviously, I literally just pulled them today. From what I've seen, my rankings. I honestly think that Garu and Genos are like neck and neck in like the S tier. I have beaten just as many Genoses and just as many Garos, and I've lost to just as many Genoses and just as many Garos. When I go up against Genos, a good Genos, I'm literally like my summoner and all my monsters were just like on our ass the entire time. Like we were knocked down, stunned. I just never do anything. All right, yeah, it's, it's good. Uh, I like the feedback, St. Nick. Yeah. If he doesn't need too much, then I'm not going to worry about it too much. He does so many attacks. Yeah, area... Let's see, hold on. Area three times. Area eight times. Yeah, yeah. So this is a three-timer. So you're right. If he's Because he's hitting so many times, he has so many opportunities to do it, for sure. No, yeah, I get slapped by Genos all the time. I don't know if he's necessarily my ban, though. But honestly, that's the same for Garu. I'm kind of working around Garu a little bit. Like, Garu is only good if he's awakened. In some cases, I can just circumvent the Garu and save him for later when there's nobody else left. Now, that doesn't necessarily work all the time. It depends on the team comp and what else is uh, around the Garu. Exactly, you see, that's kind of my the way I've been going about it. It works the majority of the time. But there's definitely times where the team comp is just like, you can't really help but hitting him. Sure. Yeah, you're going to see clips of 3v1s. For sure, Hugo. He's going to 3v1 sometimes. Not if you know what you're doing, though. Just stay on your healer and take it a slow game. Yeah. So, Chris, I was talking about that in my video a couple of days ago. Um, Garu plus Soha seems broken. I'm going to be super scared when I first see that. Yeah, Hugo, if I've ever gotten a, a Garu down to the last person, I've never lost to it. Now, if it's Garu plus Summoner, oh yeah, oh, I'll definitely lose to that sometimes. But anytime that I'm able to get down to the last uh, just Garu by himself, I'm typically fine. But... Gotcha. So Blair Martin says full destroy on his Garu. I can see it. Are you running attack, uh, attack crit damage HP on your Garu, Blur? I'm still contemplating how I'm going to do it. I may have some destroy runes, actually, because I've been farming destroy, and I don't really use destroy yet. Yeah, DJK, it is. It is a counter. The problem is one of the only viable Oblivion monsters right now is Tessarion. Ethna is also good, but she's kind of like a glass cannon, and it's hard to use Ethna. Especially as a cleave. Like, me as a cleave, I just don't see myself using it that ever. That makes sense, Blur. Yeah. That might be... That might be the way that I build my... My Genos. 
Oh, I'm sorry. You said Garo. That's why you have your Garo. Alright. I do have an Ethna. But. The problem I've ran in with Ethnas is that, like, they either do their job or they get killed. And if the job doesn't get done early, then I think it's killed pretty quick. In most cases, not all of them. But. So 100% in theory, Ethna would be a would be the hard counter. So as long as you soul link her, right? Because she's not going to go for Garu. Garu is going to go for her, actually. And then Ethna, as long as you soul linked and you're fighting the Garu too, right? I wish we had spectate mode in here, man. I'd be spectating people. Oh, that's honestly the best way to learn. Yeah, for sure. Ethna's, Ethna's super good. Let me see if anybody's... Yeah, Isus is also broken, so... If anybody is, uh... you know what you remind me of? I'll show you a video real quick. This is me, Bennett. Has anybody been playing Soul Star Wicked Rabbit Girl kit? Hold on, it's a YouTube video. I need it. Rabbit Girl. I'll see if anybody was a uh, PVP while I'm finishing up the game. Isis is the uh, the light uh, desert queen. I'm not sure, Esme. I just got him today. Um, if you check out Storyteller Stream, though, he's been running the uh, the Silver Fang for a while. And I'm sure he has a video or a live stream where he uh, shows the build. She did not. She is doing uh, some ce celebratory uh, trash TV watching. That's her her guilty pleasure is watching those uh, those trashy dating shows or whatever. It's so funny because like our lives are the least dramatic lives you'll ever meet. We're like such a stable stable people, but we really enjoy the uh, watching other people just be stupid. I'll say Oreo cookie, um, or Oreo, we, um, we've run up a bunch of, uh, the light occult girl. Fixie uses a light occult girl, and she applies spell shield to the entire, all of her allies. I think mean, that's pretty broken in, in Battlefield, too. Uh, Meyer asks, what's the quick question? What's the best way to maximize building mods? Because the limited amount of Breath of Life. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you're free to play, Breath of Life is going to be tough. Um, I mean, just build one unit at a time, right? Um, early on, I kind of spread my units out a little too thin. But I'm catching up now, so I don't feel as bad. Um, it's kind of it's kind of a hard question to answer. I would just, you know, build whatever monster you need for the next piece of content. Like, I recently built my Verd, my Verda heal for the Tree of Heroes raid, right? Like, one monster at a time. We're not really getting a, uh, another raid anytime soon or any another big piece of content, so now you can just work on a PvP. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, for sure, you see. That's, that's what's so hard. Is that like I would love to give advice on like how to build a monster, but I just don't know because like I don't have an all these LDs. I have two LDs. That's it. Thank you so much. Oh. All right, 
hold on. Well, we don't really have too much, uh, no real PvP right now. We summon through PvP. We can't really do that. There really are. That's my biggest problem is I spread my, uh, I spread my resources out pretty thin earlier on. I'm doing good now. And now that we got a little whaling session under our, our, under our belt, we got a decent amount of resources now. Hmm. But yeah, I've got I've got quite a few mons that I've built, and very few of them are A15. Hey, Olamon, thank you. I appreciate the subscription. And like none of them are A15. The only one that's A15 is Taylor. And that's because I had some leftover pieces and I use him every match, so. I would probably I'm working on Juno A15. I need one more blessing. Uh Ariel A15, I need two. Um, probably Tessa. One more for Tessa. So I'm right there. I'm about to A15 a bunch of stuff. But you can see I'm I'm spread pretty thin. I got a lot of five stars that I've, I've used. The old Sir Titties, look at this boy. He gets another 4,000 just by A15-ing. Uh, yeah, my A A10 is, is probably a good spot to stop. Like, ma make sure to have all your skills done first. Yeah, do your skills. Obviously, make sure they're level 70. And then... If they're a very good monster, then for sure. Like, if you've got a Teor and you're looking to do PvP, then yes, you definitely want to go to A14 at least uh, with your Teor. So you can see, like, A15 here. She definitely does get a decent amount of extra stats here, right? It's not crazy. It's a ton of Breath of Life, right? And it's a ton of... Uh, for free-to-play, this takes forever. To get two Blessings, right? It takes forever. So that's typically why I kind of stop at A14 for most monsters, because, like, I could either spend two months, you know, getting a blessing, or I could spend those two months building another monster and have fun with that monster. Um, I haven't played around completely with the destruction sets yet. Um, I'm finally actually farming that, that dungeon pretty consistently. Where's my Garu? My new Garu. There he is. But this is probably one of the best sets in PvP outside of maybe Despair. It's like Rage Blade, Despair, and uh, Destroy. It's a pretty good Despair room. Or it's a pretty good Destroy room. Actually, crit rate. Attack speed. Well, it's got the attack speed. He doesn't really need attack speed. What does he what does he scale off of? Hold on. Uh not that one. And max HP. Okay, so he's just full HP build. Well, hey, I've been saving some amazing runes that are HP for, for this exact guy, right? So let's go in here and see if we can get some HP. Let's start out with the destroy. It doesn't okay. Honestly, that's not a horrible room. Let's throw it on for now. Uh, let's turn this off. And let's go for three. Uh, let's see here. That's attack, unfortunately. That's attack. I actually have some good ones in here for attack. Let's check up here. I did like this one. It's attack speed, though. This one might be good. Yeah, I haven't decided whether I'm going to skill up Garu or if I'm going to skill up Jettos first. I'm kind of still deciding. Ooh. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so the rest of it probably rage. Right? Probably rage. I'm thinking. Okay. I could see that. I 
don't really have much of an option, so we're going to go with it for now. Uh, let's go sub properties, crit, and HP. Okay. Why is that not locked? Interesting. Okay. Mm. Uh, no, Esme. You get all those back. That's that's really the major point. Restoring a monster is honestly an amazing feature in the game. So it's like a monster all of a sudden is not meta um, or something like that. And you can restore them. Hey, Childish. Thank you, brother. I, I appreciate it. Childish up in the house. Hold on. This is not bad. I'll take that. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead. HP destroy. This is a decent little rune right there. Uh, we've got all of the one punch. We did a little small whale session and got all of the one punch man um, characters except for Hellish Blizzard. Did not get Hellish Blizzard, but we have everything else. Uh, this is an HP. I need to go to Rune Succession. This is still such a broken little system here. Um, there it is. Do I have any books on anything? All these crappy books from a long time ago. Let's just give you that one. Hey, good morning to you. Ooh. Okay. We'll take that rune. Take that rune all day. Uh, definitely want a replacement for that crap. Um, this one's not bad. It's not the greatest. That was pretty sexy indeed. Um, let's see. We're at main property HP. We're trying to build our new Garrow. It's going to be on Rage and Destroy is what we are kind of leaning towards. Um, I have some good Destroy runes. Um, or some decent Destroy runes that I haven't used on anybody else yet. So I think it would be a decent chance to possibly use it on them. He's a monster that stays alive, right? He's a monster that's hard to kill, and he's a monster that's constantly doing uh, lots of sort of damage to lots of people at one time. So, I, I think it's a solid, a solid pick. Do I have any crit rates in here? I'm, I'm gonna need some crit rates. I don't. We'll do the crit damage. Okay, we got the accuracy again. That's nice. We always like it when we get that last stat as something useful. I might have to restore something, uh, because I have, like, no XP potions right now. Uh, let's do... What a, what a dumb system this is. Like, how am I supposed to find this rune? Um, there's like no sorting. Ugh. It's not that one. It's not that one. There it is. So funny enough, wait, you, you probably, I was just thinking about this. You probably don't want evasion on him, right? In theory, like you want him to get hit. Because would that cancel out his ability to get awakened states? Okay, because then he's not actually getting hit. I just big brained that. So no chat help at all whatsoever. Let's do ooh, that's not bad. Let's do the crit rate on that. Eh, tons of HP though. Huge roll into HP. We're going to need to find a lot of crit rate places. Unfortunately, this is not a juicy rune. Eh, it's HP. Take that. We take those. 
All right. So I feel like this is a solid. Let's just. Got stuff. Hey, we got a little more crit right there. More crit damage. It's got two into evasion, which is not great. So his evasion is only 18, so that's not bad. We're not too sad about that. I don't know if there's anything that I would really restore right now. I have so many. I use every single one of these monsters. Especially in Galagos. Like, you use every single one of them. What do you guys think? Um, I actually just talked with one of my buddies and we do, uh, recorded a video about um, a lot of the new monsters. Chiwu, decent little buff. Chisun, interesting little change. Um, Miriong, a little buff. Uh, Delphoi, really interesting buff. That's got to be super interesting. And then Raitesh is another one that I'm really curious about to see how uh, how he performs. All right. Well, that's our, our Garu kind of built. Not a whole lot I can do right now, guys, because PvP is not here, which is kind of sad. So we got... Can't do anything. We can do a little challenge Sunday. We can see if we can... Uh, what is it? What do we have? 4,000? Can't really climb much higher than that. Yeah, I'd be interested to know you seeing because that's it seems like in theory you you don't want evasion because you do want him to get hit. And basic basic attacks would make up a lot of those uh those stacks for sure. That's true, Hugh. We could definitely do uh we could do friendly battles. Anybody um uh, East Coast Village Jewel wanna do a friendly battle? I'm down for it. I gotta take this. You know how these things just start to wreck your ear? Ugh. Can't do it anymore. Anybody want to hop on and humiliate the, the streamer man? Laws is down. Hey, thank you for the happy birthday. I appreciate it. Why would you use that skill? You're supposed to use this one. There we go. Hey, thanks, Deed. I appreciate it. All right, how do we do this? Thank you, Admiral. I appreciate it. All right, so... Arena... Friend battle. Who starts first? Create. How, so how does this work? So I create a lobby. Oh, kill so toxic. Just hopped right in. <laughs> Hopefully my monsters are ruined now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's do random first pick, I guess. That boy jumped in there so quick. Hopefully I have my, uh, my, my stuff ruined up right now. I should have most everything ruined up. Indeed, let him cook. Ah, uh, the destroy dungeon. That is the Kamari, the light Kamari. Or, I'm sorry, the dark Kamari, right? I'm just double checking. A dungeon's tough, man. A dungeon is tough, uh, for sure. I really don't have a consistent auto team. I have to, like, manual the last little bit of it. Because um, you got to strip that thing. So it's either... If you have a Naren Ha, that she's one of the best monsters for that dungeon. Uh, but I'm kind of using Juno, Tessarion... Colleen segment sometimes. I don't know. I try out a couple different things, but nothing is really consistent. Uh, in theory, a well-built Tessarion with good accuracy should do the trick because of Olivia. But the problem is my Tessarion is not well-built and his, uh, his accuracy is relatively low.
Yeah, and that's the other thing. It's like you get all that accuracy, but then you're just not landing as many hits, right? Ooh, that Nikki's got to go. Same, yeah. I mean, mine's honestly just built the best I can. I wish I could say he was built for PvP, but... Sorry, right, Kumar. Oh, Tessa and Alsharia. <laughs> the man's got Alsharia. Let me just go summon a Hugo. Go get a Alsharia. That'll that'll help. Uh, free to play friendly. Barcode recommends. So toxic over here being toxic. Man, I am always stunned. Oh my god, I am stunned all the freaking time. called Thicker the Light Joker. Annoying AF. Man, I was stunned like half of that game. Hey, thank you for the birthday wishes. Ah, oh, GG's. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick you so we can uh maybe get another another person in. Because that's how it works, right? Hey <laughs> they all gotta come in. What's up TJ? Your dollar seven account? Come on, bro. We got this. Oh, we got the, the new fit, TJ. Oh, no. Oh, was that you, Kill Laws? Okay, gotcha. Making connections. Trying to remember all the connections, too. <laughs> buffed, or uh, not buffed, changed when Monkey King. Interesting. Tessa's, Tessa's hard to bring. Tessa's hard to bring into Orbia's. Orbia's just, like, delete him. Hmm. 
I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna ban my own Taor. off 82 or paid off and yeah i needed that kumar in there man ggs dude um i have him i have him not built but i have him like plus 70 hey yeah uh, i have him like plus 70 but i don't i don't use my galleon right now I am currently working on my Feng Yang. Oh, that's my the monster I'm currently building. Zhao's one of our, our big boys here on the server. We got the new wedding skin. I don't know. I wasn't a fan of that one. I'd tell you, I like this skin that I have on, but I also like the Valentine's Day one. It's like the pink hair one. That one's pretty dope. Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, the, the waifu one is for sure. We'll have our Garu next week, boys. Next week for PvP, we'll have our Garu. Teor or Galleon, I mean, they're both phenomenal monsters. I feel like Teor is a little bit better for Cleef, whereas Galleon's a little bit better for Orbia, but they're both extremely valuable for both summoners. Unfortunately, I think I just have to ban that, because ultimates are so strong on this game. Yeah, I don't know. That's going to be a tough one. Uh, which monster? My favorite? I don't know. There's a lot of monsters that are really good in this game. It's really fun. Man, I'm not going to ever kill this Kumar. Getting to the awakened state. Nothing I can do about it either. As soon as Garo got to that awakened state, holy moly. I'm, I'm, God, the fear is so broken. The fear is so broken. Literally can't do anything. Nobody can do anything for so long. What's up, Kemu? Um, I have never really seen Lapis used in PvP, so I can't say whether she's good or not. I've never actually seen her. GG's, y'all. Yeah, it's a hard one. I don't have Shan, Shan, so it's hard to say. Oh, wait, let's not ban that.
honestly don't even know what Shan does because I don't see him much in PvP. Oh, Lapis on Naraka. I guess that makes sense. Does she have the same like thing where she can go through the defenses? Dang, just take all my monsters, why don't you? Okay. Let's see what our last pick is. All water team. <laughs> How funny would that be? Fortunately, he's probably going to get the ban. Um, this is this has got to go for this squad. And then, sorry, Kumar, you got to go. You just outmatched here, boy. see who he bans. I think he'll probably ban the... Well, no, yeah, I was about to say, he can't ban the, uh... Wow, why, why, why am I blanking on her name? Annabelle. Alright. I am the damage. Anything, holy moly, she's not stripping anything. That's yeah, Hayor smacks, my boy. Holy moly, that Hayor is smacking. So it's really rough. That Taylor was so close too. We got the thing, we got the thing. Run away. Ooh, big slam. Let's get up, let's get up, let's get a heal. Yeah, as it did, Musa, Musa's good. I've lost to him a lot. I, I have a chance this time, though. I have a chance for sure. Sure, both please for main damage here. Come on. Already popped his endure. I feel like we both have the right idea. Oh moly. Oh. Oh god. Come on. Ah. 
Now he's on the water staff, so it's tough to get those strips off. Come on! Got him! Yes. Ooh, man. What a match. So late in the match, though, you switch to Bastet for the sustain, because shields are stronger than feeling at that one. GG, Mukin. Jeez, who? You had a moment right there. Um, I, I had already had my Endure proc. I don't know if my Endure would have been back by then, though. It would have been a long match. GG, man. No, not the opponent. I want to look at... Yeah, his Teor is just outputting a ton of damage. But your boy here, Topher Smurf, doing the big boy damage. No, Garu is not nerfed. He is still this... Garu's text is a little bugged or broken right now. Where it's like the text about fear and about his skills is not really saying exactly what it should be saying. But I'm guessing he's working as intended. It's just kind of broken right now. See, bot check runs the sustain. Oreo's more damage. Um, I know a lot of. I feel like a lot of Orbias prefer the aerial over the Juno. I don't know, just from from doing so many pick bans, and then he picks the Juno. <laughs> You know that's getting banned. And then he breaks out the Lima and the Eliona. I like Kumar. Kumar's nice. What I say? There's the Lima. I don't know. Never used, uh, haven't used Soha. I don't have her. But as you can see, Ariel is a first pick in many Brawl matches, so. I'm taking a risk with the Tessa. kind of have to ban this. I have zero strips. It wouldn't matter anyway. Invincibility is so broken. I feel like you can't strip it. But maybe that's just me and Copium. Um, okay. It's a tough one. You know, if I do this, then the Juno doesn't have a ton to strip. And therefore not getting his ton of mana back. This is an interesting one. All the damage is put onto Oreo. Off. No, I didn't. Oh, did it? Did Taylor not get any of that healing just now? Like, I can't control where Taylor is. Oh, stupid Shushu. GG Oreo. <laughs> Oreo is like number four on our PvP ladders all the time. 
Uh, aerial for heal over time, still best healer. Yeah. Pillow sucks at a lot of, a lot of damage. Yeah, for sure. And, well, and then also Soha pairs well, right? Pairs well with the assassins and with the warriors. So, you know, the Soha Garu combo, like Soha Genos combo, probably really good too. So, it really just kind of depends on what your your team is. Hey, it's Rue. What are your thoughts on Raitesh? Um, uh, I came across a Raitesh actually right before the patch notes, and that was the first time that I came across a Raitesh. I'm really curious and interested to see how it goes, because he might be my next build after Fang Yang. Oh, well, I got to build Garu. I hate ha ah, Kina's always so hard to ban. I hate it all. So more damage. Yeah, no, Water Beetle definitely tanky. I I I never really have too much of an issue with water beetles themselves. You just really can't go for the Orbia first. Oh, we're bringing in the Lapis. Fun, fun times. I say bringing in a Bass that doesn't help against the Lapis. Older, older man. Nope, 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 nope. That thing got buffed and it was already bad. They're already really, really good. Ooh, the Moomin Rider. Yeah, that thing is crazy scary, especially like the comps that I run. Okay, so we got rid of that, I guess, for the defense breaks, because, yeah, if I landed a defense break, unfortunately, it doesn't allow me to ban the Wusa, which is what I really want. I'm going to have to... Ah, I really don't want to ban the Juno. Juno's so good. But I just don't... Oh, he banned the Wusa. Okay, so it's not a bad ban for me, then. Uh, Sir Acteon is phenomenal, uh, especially good in this meta up against Teors and, and Aerials and stuff. Did I not land a blind just now? There's no way. something. Oh boy, there goes some somebody's ramping up their damage a lot right now. chance now. I don't have any damage. He just threw a bike at me? I have the blind on old man, so I had it for a second. But yeah, I don't think I, I can't come out of this. I don't have enough damage behind it. Wasn't able to kill the old man fast enough early on. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't do it. Thought I could kill the old man fast enough. I know, right? I love the bike. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have a hard time. His stats, like, he was definitely relatively easy to kill. Um, But then trying to kill him a second time. That was tough. Yeah, I think the, um, the Annabelle was a good ban on his part. Defense break would have destroyed that. I was so close to killing things so many times. Oh, God, Levitra. Thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate it. Yeah, Rue is um, Rue is really popular with bringing lots of off meta stuff. So. And does well with it, too. Rue, Rue is Rue is big brain for sure. I'm just a brain dead cleave that spams buttons. And wins sometimes. Yeah, you think it was the old, yeah, the old man on destroy. <laughs> oh, that's right. Levitra has a uh, like we on a like wheel like like Uli. Get to see some, uh, ooh, okay, okay. Bring in the Charlotte and the Soha. The Soha is going to be protecting that thing. So here's your chance to see some Soha. For sure, yeah, Jeff. Rue's out here with the experimental builds all day, every day. a tough one. I'm thinking about banding the, the like, wheel. Just gotta do your dailies every day. Do those little mini dungeons every day. Those little easy dungeons. Ooh, a segment. I have not seen a segment in quite a while. Honestly, though, he's super burst. I'm gonna get rid of the Soha. I know we want to see Soha gameplay. But like this is gonna this is gonna burst down a lot of my units really fast, and either it's gonna pay off, or I'm gonna stay alive long enough to be able to shred them down. So he does have the Charlotte. dangerous ah so much damage there man okay kill the log wheel come on got him okay okay so that was the game plan. Like, he had to kill me off quick. But we were able to stay alive just a little bit. Did a little bit of the Orbeo run around crap. GG's, man. GG's. Yeah, that's true, you see. Make sure to craft your one a day in the uh, alchemy. You can easily forget about that one. Yeah, no problem, man. I probably banned your uh, your Soha you were trying to test out. I apologize, but it's like. <laughs> I'm guessing it was probably the Soha Lagula combo, mostly. Charlotte did get that little bit of buff, but I don't know what you feel about her. 
I'm not sure, because she wasn't... She definitely does counter the Juno, but I don't know if it's countering Juno enough. Like, Juno Orbia, for sure. See if anybody else is out there. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. Guys ready to get white floor? This is our number one player on the server. Eh, most of the time. <laughs> you thought Oreo was bad? Here we go. <laughs> ah, Keck W. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's gonna bring Darkstaff just to BM me. <laughs> That's a fight. This is not a fight. Put Oreo and Fixie against each other. That's a better fight, not me. Uh, the goal is, let's see how long we can last. All right. Big giggity there. Like he's going to throw in all of his experimental monsters, and I am legitimately just going to try to survive with the best monsters that I have. I don't want to. I don't want to disrespect his build. So, because he's like legitimately vying for first place all the time. So I don't know how top people feel about that. Honestly, I feel like Soha is, again, the most dangerous here because she's being paired with all assassins and a warrior. Feared. God, look how long that is. Like his his shoe shoes probably 120 CP. Like. out here doing all the damage but yeah I guarantee you his shoe shoe is at like 140 H or 140 CP thanks no bless I appreciate it man yeah I mean I have to I'll have to rebuild some monsters for that we um that's definitely something we want to do some content creators we've talked and we've talked with the marketing people over come to us too and that's definitely something we want to do is obviously <laughs> shut up Martin 
it's definitely something we want to do is like obviously regular tournaments you know content creator tournaments just like actual tournaments because that's honestly what keeps the uh that's what keeps the games alive in my opinion is the, the community tournaments and stuff um and then yeah of course three four star tournaments would be phenomenal that'd be so much fun Well, like Sky Arena, they have special league, you know, in between brawl seasons. Uh, and special league was always um, four star units, so you could only use four star units. So it was really fun, but I always had a hard time with it because I hated having to waste half my day, you know, rerunning monsters and stuff. Oh, I don't necessarily believe that you seen, but. I think you guys are the heart of the game. For sure. You want your salty run back? You want? We can. Can I? I don't know if I can invite. Because you're not on my server, right? Yeah. I mean, if you think so, Jonathan. There he is. I mean, I appreciate you guys saying that. I think I think they've made some good decisions overall. Yeah, they've made some bad ones. Oh, got the wedding outfit on. Put it just just for us. Yeah, Guild Wars is going to be here. Uh, they announced it'll be here. What? June, July? Um, raid releases, no, they do that for like TOA. So like whenever, um, a new TOA season happens, then they like, they'll, they'll show up on the screen if you beat it first. Oh, that's right. You got the, uh, well, young, um, I can see that, Yasin. I can see that. I mean, I, I have the same feeling with some of my content creators that I like to watch and stuff. Like, you know, I, I, I enjoy... There's so many content creators that I love watching. Not for this game, per se, but just other games, too, where it's just like, man, I really enjoy just kind of being a part of the, the crew, the community. Thank you. And sometimes you turn them on not for any, like, particular reason, but you just, like, it's cool just to hang out. I never was really big into like the the streaming community until a couple years ago when I started really following people a lot. Thanks, Victor. I appreciate it. Huh, which of the LDs are we banning? Why don't we let him keep all of his LDs? We're going to ban the Juno. Oops, sorry, I'll see what's up. Um, we're going to keep... Yeah, I like Ifrit. Um, El Sharion. His big thing is he strips and ste well, steals beneficial effects. That's his big thing. So he'll take a beneficial effect and place it on himself. Jesus, that was the Wuyong. See, I didn't bring my Teor. He knows. Because it's the Teor that's generally able to take out the Wuyong quick enough. Does he give it to the whole team acid? Or did, I know that's what Sky Arena was like. Or does he give it to just himself? I, I thought he just gave it to himself. Now I'm... Now I'm I want to see now. Because I thought they kind of, quote, nerfed him in this game, but you're probably...
shared with all group members. Okay, yeah, yeah. So she, every hit has a certain chance to steal a beneficial effect from the enemy and apply it to all team members. Yeah, that's... You're right. No, you're good, man. Yeah, that's... That's a lot of mana. <laughs> that's the highest mana cost thing I've seen. Yeah, if it was five mana... If it was five mana, yeah, I think he would be... Uh, he would be very, very meta. <laughs> but because it's six mana, I feel like it's not quite... He's not quite there. Yes, uh, Dark Weeyong is extremely good. Or Dark uh, Sky Dancer. She is literally a damage dealer, is what she is. Um, so, if attacked by an area attack, so that's a lot of Cleef's. A lot of Cleef's abilities, you know, area attack. Uh, then she gets level one attack up, so she gets attack up pretty much immediately. And she also damage taken down. So that's why Teor is pretty good against her, because he, like, single, single target. Um... Ignores target's damage mitigation effect. So she does the same thing with like if I have a defense up or a shield or something like that. She'll go right through all of that. And then she does a little bit of healing. So it's this is the skill though. This is like a sniper right here. Oh, wait. Wu, I got dark. Oh, you said Wu Kong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was sitting there just talking about Wu Yong, and we just had it in the match. That's what I had in my mind. <laughs> um, dark Monkey just got buffed, too. Why am I completely missing it? There it is. He just got buffed to... Okay. Well, okay. Some people... Don't know how it worked. Um, so this used to be if target is under a stun, damage dealt up 50%. But now it's if target is under a CC effect, then he gets up 50%. So it's like, yeah, he's doing less damage up, right? So damage dealt up is less, but now he has all these extra options. And the way the meta is, it's like slow games, a little, you need time to ramp up. This is significantly better. So this is a buff. Uh, we talked about this with Rock today on our uh, podcast thing that we're recording. So, yeah, CC includes a lot of things. So, for instance, search skill here. Things that you wouldn't even think are CC. Um, blind is CC. Knockdown is CC, which that makes sense. Um, sleep, fear, root, stun. Oblivion, Silence, Provoke, uh, I don't think freeze. freeze is a CC effect. So there is a ton. Oh, is Bleed? Is Bleed a CC? No way is Bleed a CC. Well, it doesn't have it here. Um, so it'll have that little CC effect bracket at the front. Uh, it'll say CFC effect. So anything that says CC effect, that's considered a CC effect. So that's the same thing with uh, Naraka. For anybody that's still working on Naraka uh, the, during the minion phase, you can bring anything that does CC effect for the most part. Uh, only apply when you stun without his fair set. Oh, um, so him, I, it doesn't matter where the CC comes from, I don't think. It's just simply, if the target is under a CC effect, your damage is up. So you bring other CC monsters. So damage increases if the enemy is under a CC effect. So you bring stunners, you bring... Like him paired with his light brother would be phenomenal. Um, I don't, John, mostly because it's my worst weapon. But I should, because it's extremely good. Same, yeah. Yeah, Jimbro, Provoke 2, all of it. So, yeah, he got a, a decent little buff, in my opinion. Yeah, his damage dealt up is less, but it applies to more things. So, it's better. Phenomenally better, in my opinion. So, if you have him, congrats. Congrats, indeed. Alright, guys, I think we are wrapping up. Did a little bit of friendly battles. Just kind of make sure we got everything. Oh, I gotta go do that. I can do all my weeklies. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the chat. Uh, we're about to wrap up here.
Bro, he could be broken. His stun was irresistible. Damn, my Dead or Queen? One of the best LDs in the game. Congratulations. True, yeah. Yeah, Theo brings a rank. I don't know if... It's tough, though. Trying to bring two damage dealers into a brawl match like that? That's dangerous. It's dangerous. You saw I went up against Levitra. And yeah, granted, he was using, you know, some... He was testing some monsters, so we won't... It's not like a pure win. But like, you know, it was all damage dealers. And it's, it's a glass cannon sort of thing. Either you win or you don't. Honestly, I'll take gold all day with this wheel, man. That's that's all you need. Oh, speaking of that, I need to go. I think I have another. Oh, no, I already attached it. Where's my new? Yeah, uh, that's the crit rate one. I added a monster crit damage. That's the 9.8 one. I get some new ones of these. No, the ones I have are better. Um, where do I go for that? Summoner, symbols, combine. Is there no no sound for that? Okay. Um Night Mod Ooh. Oh, that's significantly better. That's significantly better. So let's let's do this real quick. Kind of show you, put all the knights on here. We're at 627-888. Boom. That, look at that one symbol. What it just did. Did I just see that? Let's do that again. Hold on. I had this on it. Down 5,000. Monster attack plus 80. That's all my monsters. And then knight type monster attack plus 3.6. That's a lot of power. Holy moly. That's crazy. Um, can you, can we see your L&D only account progress? Uh, yeah, man, I did the, the summon session, which was actually, for those who, spoiler alert, it was a little bit of a, uh, mess summoner, uh, session. This is fun. Huh. Yeah, I can, uh, let me just double check to make sure I have everything done on this account before the end of the day, because we're a reset tomorrow. Uh, biggest thing is checking my shops. Just making sure I have bought everything I'm going to buy. Um, yeah, I'm kind of saving their guild shop. I have 5,000. I guess I could buy something. Or I could save, right? Eventually we got to save for this. These are so expensive. 50,000? How are you supposed to get to 50,000? while still also buying the stuff that you need every week. Uh, Galagos, I'm doing pretty decent in Galagos this time around. Almost done with floor three. So we're, we already bought all these things. For sure. Let's see, Battlefield. I have been doing some Battlefield. Let's, uh, let's get these three. Right? Yeah, or wait, wait, wait. Those are those are sky stones. I don't have to worry about that. Honestly, that's not a bad. Oh, that's hero weekly. That's hero. I gotta get the hero first for that. Oh, the outfits. I'm actually getting support type monster HP. Hell yeah, 150. Okay. This is a really good set right here. Support mark. Support type monster HP. But scrolls. 
Ugh. Okay, we'll do this. We're going to be doing a lot of battlefield. We're going to get the scrolls. Oh, this is one per day, too? Wow. Ah, that's that seems super... Um, so I'm not high enough yet for the monthly Devamon. I stopped doing Battlefield a long time ago because I hated Battlefield. Uh, but you got to get all the way to Warrior and Heroes. It's going to be a bit for me, but it's actually going to be, it's going to go by pretty quick because the new Battlefield is way more fun. So I'll, I'll, I'll climb up pretty quickly and we'll, we'll finally be able to get these monthly ones. Um, let's see. Tools, subjugation. Yeah. Buy out these. Raids. We buy out the yarn balls all the time. Um, these are these. I'll, I'll flow through those pretty quickly, so I better buy those. These I have so many of. You finish season top twenty. I am ranked thirteen right now, so I don't know what that means. Reward, Battlefield Nightmare. Re so you get Battlefield Nightmare, and then you get that as a reward, right? Huh. Well, not too bad. Some decent crystals. Yeah, Battlefield is tough for mobile for sure. It, it, this whole game is kind of tough for mobile, honestly. I know there's some god tier mobile players out there, but that new Tree of Heroes um, raid is really tough for mobile players. But next season you can buy everything? Can I? Where does it say that? I must have missed that. Uh, must have missed that note. Warrior one purchase. Because I can't buy these even. So like, if I finish top. Tw I'm, yeah, I'm confused. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where that might be. Are we talking about these Devilmon? The ones where you have to get to Warrior to actually get them? Misa confused. Uh, so you see, most of those are, are generally um, lifetime. Oh. Interesting. I, I, I don't know where you guys found that out. I, I missed that part. So, okay. So then let's say I'm ranked 13 right now. I feel like that I should be pretty safe. Yeah, that's a lot of points to get tonight. So I should be pretty, uh, pretty safe. We got three days, so I'll definitely be doing a bunch the next couple days. So what you're saying is if I finish top 20 in the next couple days, I'll be able to come over here to the Devilmon and purchase each one of these monthly purchases. That's crazy. That's actually amazing <laughs> i thought i was gonna have to climb like i was ready too because like it's way more fun the battlefield's way more fun so i was ready to climb yeah for sure i'll have to i'll have to make sure i secure it that first uh oh damn i'm still recording i'm an idiot well that's gonna be a massive hit on my gigabyte storage okay um battlefield to see ranks Oh, I see that down here. Season ranking Battlefield Nightmare. Yeah, that's where I would probably land. Uh, Yeah, I refreshed like once or twice. So I have one more refresh at the end. So I guess I'll, I'll save that. So now I know. But hey, if I don't get it this season, I'll get it next season, right? Uh, do it before reset. Oh, so oh, what you're saying is use this now. I, I don't know how all this stuff works, guys. I'm just a brain dead cleave. So if I reset this now and I do it real quick, 
then I will get three more resets. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was a weekly or a season thing. Yeah, we can do one real quick. Uh, oh, it's the wrong entry. Play available in 17 minutes. I'll do that tonight. I'll make sure to do that tonight. All right, cool, guys. Uh, I appreciate everyone hanging out. Um, okay. Got it. Um, all right, guys. I will check you guys out later. I'm going to go hang out with the waifu. Uh, birthday. Appreciate you guys hanging out for the uh, birthday stream. Uh, we got a bunch of our One Punch Man uh, monsters, so we're only missing Hellish Blizzard. But, you know, I'm not too sad. I'm glad we got everybody else, though. So now we can put them in the altar for the altar blessing uh, coming up in a couple days. So that'll be fun. Got some other big, uh, big summon sessions coming up um, for some of our guild members. So we'll have some cool streams. Uh, lots of uh, one of my guild mates has saved up over nearly a thousand. It'll be a th over a thousand mystical or a thousand scrolls for us, including a ton of premiums. So it's going to be a big summon session. <laughs> So I'm excited for that. I think that's going to be Saturday morning, the Saturday morning. So I'll make sure to put out a, uh, a schedule for that. All right, guys, as usual, I thank you guys for hanging out. Appreciate all the birthday wishes. I'm an old man. Um, I'm a old, old man. I'm an old man. So I appreciate everyone hanging out. Uh, I appreciate the couple of donos. You guys are awesome. You guys do not have to do that, but I want to make sure to recognize you guys. Rex and uh, uh, Savage Goon Kid, you guys are awesome. All right. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to go hang out with Waifu. I appreciate everybody. I'm going to be putting out a big video tomorrow. Uh, myself and Rock, who is another top tier uh, PvP player, we had a nice long conversation about uh, all the new monsters that got changed in the meta and stuff like that. So I think you guys, it's a long one. It's over an hour, but yeah, I'll have timestamps for different monsters and whatnot. But if you're looking for some light podcast li style listening to, then uh, for sure it's uh, it'll be cool. All right, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, further questions, make sure to head down to the Discord. I know a lot of you guys are already in the Discord, and that's awesome. Uh, lots of really smart people down in the Discord that you can uh, get your questions answered down there. Uh, lots smart, smarter people than me, for sure. So uh, make sure to go elicit their help. Uh, what else? Yeah. Like, subscribe if you're just lurking. If you guys enjoyed the stream, make sure to subscribe. Okay, guys. I will see you guys in either the next live stream or the next video. Peace.